some practical tips, some do's and don'ts um, that we could uh, use for our book distribution. Most importantly, we have to have high sadhana. We must ensure that before we go out on book distribution, we are done with our minimum 16 or whatever our rounds are, minimum 16 rounds. We do our reading, we do our hearing and we remain celibate. Very important. We don't indulge in sense gratification. Um, keep high standards, high principles, high cleanliness and high sadhana. Very, very important. We cannot expect Krishna's mercy uh, just by hitting the street. We have to have high standards and pray for the mercy and hit the road. Um, the other point is when we go to the road or the parking lot or wherever it is, we go to schools, universities, different stalls. When we are endeavoring, we must keep chanting the holy name. Between the book distribution also, not chit-chatting and gossiping. We must never space out. We must understand this is an absorbing activity. Let our lips be chanting because we cannot carry our beads. These days we do it in our fingers or the clickers or whatever. But at least our tongue should keep moving. We have to be absorbed. Keep chanting, keep chanting, keep chanting. No, the devotee or that, that individual is not taking our, our book, no problem. We keep chanting and we keep endeavoring. And as we approach somebody, we have to pray to Nityananda Prabhu who is seated as Paramatma. Please push this jiva. Let him or her, let them buy this book. Let them transform their lives. Oh Nityananda, you can do this. Please Nityananda, please help me out. So in that way we have to pray also and be humble in our endeavor. Uh, as far as the don'ts are concerned, don't be pushy, don't push the book, don't think that this is the way I have to be aggressive and this is being spirited, no. We have to always be gentlemen. Try talking to them, try striking a conversation. Uh, again, this is place oriented, time oriented, in the western world it works differently, in India it works differently. Try striking a conversation with them. Listen to them when they talk also. Don't just be, oh, I'm going to just sell the book and if I don't get, if they don't take the book, I'm just going to disconnect. Don't do like that. Even if they don't take the book, we have to leave a good impression on them about the Krishna conscious devotees. Like there's an example uh, in, um, uh, in California that Vaisheshika Prabhu was speaking in one of his classes. He said that he was speaking to a Christian lady and she said that, um, I don't want to take these books because I'm Catholic. So Vaisheshika Prabhu didn't disconnect. He still spoke to her very nicely, wished her uh, goodwill and good wishes, spoke to her. And the, the connection was very nice, very sweet, although she didn't take the book. That left such a positive impact on her that after 30 minutes she came back and she said, I may not be convinced with your philosophy, but I'm convinced with your kindness and with your gentleman nature. So therefore, to please you, I'm taking this book. This is very important. There are so many people who won't take our books. But if we are harsh with them, we are aggressive with them, the impression that we leave on them are that these Hare Krishna devotees or ISKCON devotees are pushy and aggressive. So even if they don't take our books, we have to be gentlemen. We have to be so kind to them that they feel we didn't take our, their books, but they still are good people. They are nice people. So they don't refrain. Next time they see a Hare Krishna, they are welcoming. So even if now they don't take the book, we lay the foundation in their heart so that in the future, somebody else gives them the book. So in that way, we have to be good. And even if we don't take them towards Krishna completely, we must ensure we take at least one step. We will take them one step positively towards Krishna. Never, never, never take them away from Krishna. If they are at this level, by our nature, we must either keep them here or get them one step closer to Krishna. Never be aggressive and push them away. It's very important to be first conscious and then Krishna conscious. We have to be aware of what they like, what they don't like. And be nice to them. Everybody likes if you're kind. So in this way, these are some general uh, tips. And another don't, strictly a don't, is that if there is somebody who's interested, who is inquisitive but is not able to pay the money as assigned like for example if our book costs 200 rupees and if that person is really genuine and has 100 rupees and if our distributor says no no this costs 200 rupees you cannot take this book then what happens is that for that 100 rupees loss we are incurring the loss of one future devotee 
it's possible that in that in the future that person could be a devotee because that person already has that interest that inquisitiveness so even if we lose 100 rupees or we fall short in that 100 rupees we must see the higher goal of making devotees the aim of book distribution is not just having monetary profit whether we have monetary profit or no that's secondary but the main aim is outreach more and more books more and more positive impression more future devotees so on that note let's follow all these principles and i encourage and inspire all of you and motivate all of you um, i request all of you to go out and give your best in this month and let us encourage one another in serving shila prabhupada's book distribution moment hare krishna